Hello everyone and welcome to War Thunder. This was a video or this is a game I played uh, yesterday uh, in Zhukovsky's I-153 M62. According to the wiki page, uh, this was an aircraft piloted by Sergei Yakovlevich Zhukovsky, who was a Soviet who was a Soviet ace who scored uh, 13 kills and 15 shared kills during World War II. At the start of the war, Zhukovsky was a junior lieutenant and a flight commander with the 127th Fighter Aviation Regiment at Grodno. On June 22, 1941, he took part in nine air duels and shot down five enemy aircraft. And on June 29th, he scored th three more victories. He flew a total of over 500 sorties during the years of the war. Sergei Yakovlevich Zhukovsky was awarded with the Order of Lenin, six orders of the Red Banner of Labor, the Order of Alexander Nevsky, the Order of the Patriotic War First Class, two Orders of the Red Star, and 16 medals. He retired from the Soviet Air Force as a Colonel General of avi Aviation. Now, how is this playing in game? Uh, well, my opinion of, is it, of it is that it is absolutely a wonderful aircraft. Uh, and of course, it is just a copy of the I-153 that's already in the tree. They're the exact same aircraft, this one just has a different skin. They're both wonderful aircraft, and I will tell you why. So, first things first is that it's a biplane. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's a good vehicle, but it's a biplane with a really beefy engine. And that also does not make it a really good vehicle. But not only is it a biplane, and not only is it a biplane with a very beefy engine, but it is a biplane with a very beefy engine and a very good armor. And, uh... But the catch is that it comes at battle rating 2.0 instead of your, your regular battle rating 1 or battle rating 1.3. So you will be facing some more tougher enemies, but as you'll see in this video, if you're using the tracer belts, you will destroy some stuff, I'll tell you what. The tracer belts seem to be one of the most powerful belts for the Shkas machine guns I've found in the game. They just do serious damage every single time I use them. They are absolutely amazing. And you'll get to see that later in this game. You'll get to see some crazy kills I get. I just absolutely tear apart some vehicles with it. But I'm playing with my friend Renzer123. Renzer 0123, I should say, here. He's in that SB2M up there. Uh, and uh, since this is a low-tier battle, I think, I think kind of the reason why I got away with a lot of the stuff I got away with is because most of the players are kind of inexperienced. And uh, they don't really know what to do in this situation. And you can see all of the enemies, all of the enemy fighters are not where I am. I'm in a biplane. And it may be a beefy engine biplane, but all of these other people are in monoplanes, which can go just as fast as me with less effort. And uh, they aren't climbing to my altitude. And, of course, that means I have an altitude and typically an energy advantage in them, over them because I when you have a higher altitude, you are essentially storing energy to be converted into... You're storing potential energy to be converted into kinetic energy. As you can see here, Redzer is going after this Donier 17. He's uh, got him sprung an oil leak, and I thought I was going to go after him and finish him off. But you can see he's a heavier aircraft, and he's starting to convert his potential energy into kinetic energy. And if you're a heavier aircraft, you kind of do that a little bit faster. Um, and so he was able to uh, move a little bit faster and get away from us. And I decided to pull off. And I saw over here, this BB-1's getting attacked by this HE-112, so I'm going to go and help him out. So I'm going to start speeding up and making an attack run. And uh, it looks like he's pretty focused on this. But then, in a second here, you'll see some, Or I'll see some. Yeah, there's a bunch of enemy aircraft down there, and it may not be the best idea to start diving. So then I decide, okay, we're going to get back up in the altitude. We're going to climb back up. And it doesn't seem like any of the other aircraft really cared that I was there or something. I'm not exactly sure, like, if they weren't paying attention or if they just didn't care. Um, but then I kind of just get back over them. I see this H6K, and I'm like, mm, don't mind if I do. And uh, I kind of go up against it. But this is kind of risky, because the H6K has got a really strong tail armament. So I just go up and make an attack run. Boom. Bam. He dead. That's it. And I'm pretty sure in that case I just got a lucky pilot snipe because he died pretty quick. But even then, if I would have set him on fire, I would have just gone away because Japanese vehicles typically don't have self-sealing fuel tanks. And it's safer to just 
uh, let him burn. So now I see that uh, this uh, this dude down here, I don't know what he is, that, uh, what is that, the P-36? Not, for one thing, I, I don't mean to be mean or anything, but he's not playing his plane right. He's in a really sticky situation, so I'm coming down here to remove some of these fighters from him. So I'm pulling up on this HE-51 right behind him. He's got tunnel vision. He has no idea that I'm coming up behind him. I take my time and line up a shot, and I go boom, boom, bam, boom, bam, and the replay doesn't really do a very good job of showing where I'm actually shooting. But you see, I, I rip him apart. That's two kills right there. The HE-112 is coming up behind me. I'm faster than him, so I'm getting away. And then I hit this G-50. Bam. Third kill. Just like that. I turn around because I remember that HE-112 is there, and I, and I decided to take a little risky head on here. I actually didn't think I was going to make this, but I did kill him. I was very lucky I didn't get my engine knocked out. I was thinking I was going to get my engine knocked out, and I was perfectly fine with only getting four kills because I figured that was enough of a contribution. But thankfully, I didn't. So now this HE-51 is running. I'm faster than him. I'm going almost 400 kilometers per hour in a biplane. 400 kilometers an hour in a biplane. But he starts turning because he sees there's nothing else to do, but he's a better turner than me. So I better make this count. So I hit him a few times. I turn around here. He starts going up and around, but he's not turning my way. So, bam, I take him out. Fifth kill. That's the ace right there. So that's the ace. And uh, as you can see here now, there's only one dude left on the enemy team. So I was just thinking, you know what? I'm going to stay in the air. He's a monoplane. I'm a biplane. And I was figuring more than likely he's on his airfield, so he's going to have a pretty low energy state. I can probably kill him, no problem. Meanwhile, I am sitting here freaking out in my Discord chat, talking to Redzer, and just going like, Oh my god, I got an ace, I got an ace. Watch, I'm going to get six kills, I'm going to get six kills. Because I was like, I was like over the moon with how crazy I was just able to just slaughter the enemy team there. Because that was just, that happened in such a quick succession where I was just like, holy crap, this is unbelievable. But you can see, I can see his dot there, right above the airfield and uh, right along the airfield there, kind of. And so I'm getting kind of ready to line up against him. And I start looking around. And I actually lose him for a bit because I was looking around and not just paying attention. There's no reason to be looking around in this situation because there's only one enemy aircraft. So I'm just kind of like lining up with him, getting ready to make an attack run. And you'll see here, I make some critical mistakes here, but yet he still does not is, is not able to capitalize on them. And I'll show them when it happens. So, here's this. Here he comes. He wants to do a head-on. But he's got two 50 cals, and I've got four 7.62s. And I don't really feel like that's going to work out too well. So, here he's coming up. He's coming up, and he starts firing. And then I just start turning. And watch this. This is a really stupid move on my part. I literally, like, put him in front of my guns. At, at that close of a distance, that was really dumb. And I just keep turning and turning and turning. But thankfully, uh, he doesn't kill me. That was really lucky that I didn't get killed there because that was a really bad move. Um, but then I take him, I hit him here, take his flap off, go around, move up for the kill. And, 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 and. <laughs> you can see the turning ability here. It's just amazing. You can stay on his tail. He, he's trying to turn, fight me. Totally not going to work. And I take him out. There's six kills. That's an ace plus one. But like I was saying there, that turning, absolutely awful idea. I'm really surprised I didn't get killed there. It was just really, really, really bad move. But, but then he tried to turn fight me, and I was able to take him out super easy. It was nothing. Well, that should be about it for this video. As you can see, we take out the enemy team. Six kills, 4,196 4, points. I got something like 13,000 RP or something like that off this. And that's, of course, with the premium. Hope you all enjoyed watching, uh, have a good day, and see you later.